Say you're building the ultimate private home theater. You've got the huge 110 inch screen, you've got a premium projector, you've got up to 25 seats, you've got all the sound in the world, what's left? Well, what you really want to do is bring the first run commercial theater movies into your home. There's only one way to do that, and that's with Prima Cinema. Prima Cinema is kind of like for the big boy home theater club, okay? It's gonna cost $35,000 for the box, it's $500 for each movie viewing, um, but it's the only way to get first run uh, movies into your home. So how does Prima Cinema get away with this? Well, it's because there are a ton of security measures in place. You've got to have no more than 25 seats in your theater. You've got to have at least a 110 inch screen. Uh, you've got to use a fingerprint reader. You can never move the box because it has to have a static IP. They pretty much got all the bases covered. But because they've done that, you can actually watch movies the day they come out in the theaters in your own home. And that kind of spells out ultimate home theater for me. Okay, all right, maybe you don't have a private jet or a vacation home in Barbados. You're gonna put your home theater together yourself. This is an excellent place to start. This is Epson's Home Cinema 5030 projector. It does 2D and 3D, and it's available with a wireless module in addition. This is only $25.99, uh, or $28.99 if you get the wireless version. It comes with two pairs of 3D glasses and uh, it's a particularly bright projector with an excellent contrast ratio. Um, and this is something that you can pick up at Magnolia inside Best Buy right now. It offers a premium home cinema experience without an outrageous price tag. Let me tell you from experience that installing a projector is not for the faint of heart. Getting everything set up just exactly right and adjusted so that your image is perfect on your screen is really not that easy of a job. But OmniMount just made it a whole lot easier. This is the PJT40 and it is $179 coming out this November and it offers all kinds of clever little tricks to make putting your own projector in your home theater a whole lot easier. You've got individual twist lock mounts that you can set onto your projector ahead of time. You can uh, lift and lock your projector into place and then it's hands-free from there. You can go up and get your security screws set and then finally to get everything adjusted we've got three different micro adjustment knobs here. They're gonna help you dial in the picture onto your screen just exactly right. So we've got our projector, we've got it mounted, now what are we gonna show it on? A screen naturally. But here's something you might not think about. You may not necessarily want a white screen. What about a black screen? Check out this screen from Screen Innovations. This is their Zero Edge Black Diamond. And as you can see, when you look at it straight on, it looks black. But as we turn it, you might catch that it's reflecting light. This allows you to get really excellent black levels even in a bright room filled with daylight. And then, again, at night it's gonna look excellent as well. But it's still gonna refract light back to you so that you get a big, bright image. So to put this in perspective, Let's get a 110 to 115 inch uh, zero edge black diamond screen at about $3,500. We toss in that Epson projector that we saw earlier for about $2,500. You've got a 115 inch flat panel TV basically for $5,000. You can't go anywhere and touch that. 